I'm going to talk you very quickly through a, a way to create animated GIFs easily from your InDesign files using the load files into stack script in Adobe Photoshop. Now for this demonstration, I've created a, a simple 100 page document to animate. So we're just scrolling between numbers one to 100. So 100 pages, 100 numbers, very simple. So the first thing I want to do is file, export. So we want to export all these files, all these pages as individual images. So let's select PNG for format. Let's create a new folder and we'll call that stack on the desktop. That all looks fine. Save. So we want to save all of our individual pages. Let's go for 144 as a resolution. Make sure we're exporting all of them. Quality maximum, that's all fine. And let's export them now. That's us all exported fine. Next thing we want to do, let's go into Photoshop. We want to go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Let's find our uh, stack folder on the desktop. So we select all of our numbers. Um, open those. Make sure they're sorted by name. Now it's going to take a wee while to load these all in. So there's a hundred pages all getting loaded in there. That's us. So once you've got those all in as layers in Photoshop, you want to make sure that your timeline is open. I've got that open already. Let's close that so we can show you where it is. Um, let's go to Photoshop, Window, Timeline. That's us there. And um, what we want to do is just click Create Frame Animation. Uh, and then we want to go to select make frames from layers. So just this little button at the top right of the timeline window, we go to click that and then make frames from layers. Um, so that's as you start to see how this is working. So one of the things this has done is we're going, you can see in the timeline, we're going from 100 to 1. We want to flip that around to go from one to 100. So let's just go ahead and select all of our frames. Again, we click at the top right, of the timeline window, reverse frames. Uh, now to make, to turn that into our GIF, all we do is go to file, export, save for web. And that's just going to take a wee while because we got 100 frames. Let's make sure we've got our GIF uh, selected. All those settings look absolutely fine. Just click Save. And save that on the desktop. Let's call it Numbers. That should be us. So we go to our desktop. There's a GIF there. We drag that into Chrome. That's us working fine.